Well, Rossford is looking to the future while preserving its past. Some city property that was deemed historical back in the 60s is getting a closer look before any new development comes its way. Our Michael Sandlin is live from the former Indian Hills Elementary School. If you remember it, it was the one that looked like a teepee. That's where a dig for artifacts is going on. Michael, what have they found so far? Well, Jeff, besides for one lone arrowhead, which they found under a leaf, the dig team tells me that they haven't found anything since they started on Tuesday. But they have another day tomorrow, and they want to thank the city of Rossford for allowing them to be so thorough. As the city of Rossford continues to expand, it's bumped into a slight problem. Running out of vacant land, now leaders are giving properties like the old Indian Hills Elementary School site a second look. It's been a part of a larger 40-acre historical site since the 1960s, but with most of the artifacts found far away from the school, the city wants to see if the land could be usable. So what we're doing is we're taking a look at the 13 acres that the school grounds are on to, to see what cultural artifacts may be uh, present in the area. To do so, they brought in a team of archaeologists and environmental consultants to scour the soil to see if any history lies below. So these, these are the experts behind me, and um, they have a trained eye to be able to identify what it is they're looking at. Um, it's, it's a simple but effective process. They're excavating down in approximately two to three inch increments, taking that soil, putting it on the sifter box, sifting the soil through, and then what's left is really what's of interest. So what have they found so far? Um, not, not a lot um, yet. There was one uh, projectile point that was identified uh, yesterday afternoon in one location, and it was actually it was under a leaf sitting on top of the ground. But the team says regardless of what is found, it's incredibly important to be thorough with these kinds of historical sites to make sure no history is lost before the land is used for something else. And they thank the city of Rossford for handling the situation appropriately. They don't want to go in and dis disturb something they shouldn't disturb. Um, and so that's a, I, I'm very happy to be working with them on this because I think that's, a, you know, it shows a lot of forethought and patience on their part. The dig team tells me they'll be turning in their pre preliminary findings to the city of Rossford uh, tomorrow, but neither they nor the city know what they want to do with the land yet, and they'll be reaching out to the public soon to get their opinions. Reporting in Rossford, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.